Hi, welcome back to Kalis. So right beside me is the newly launched Hyundai Creta. This is the second smallest SUV in the lineup now. How much does it cost? 149888 and if you're the first 150 buyers you get extended warranty so obviously being a Hyundai SUV you get this recognizable front end now featuring a parametric grille also Hyundai likes to put the headlights here not here yeah here because these are the DRLs giving it a bit of flash especially at nighttime the side of the crater is quite interesting too okay you have a lot of these cuts here I'm not sure you can see this in this light but there's a cut in the middle part of the side profile that goes all the way to the back. The shoulder line is quite beefy, giving it that hunch look, okay? So you've got 17 inch wheels, but the design is quite basic to me. Okay, so the interesting design continues at the rear. There's this cut out here and a beefier shoulder line here. But I think this is quite unique. Hyundai calls the taillights a boomerang design and yeah, I can see where they're coming from. But one of the best things about the crater is this. For a car of its size, it's got quite a big boot space. Yes, I believe it's got more than 400 litres and if you put the seats down, it's got more than a thousand litres of boot space. Okay, welcome to the inside of the crater. Now, Hyundai says it's themed under this T-shaped design. I don't know if you can see this because you know it's just one black colour. Well, it starts from here and then it spreads out to the sides. I've seen pictures of this car with a two-tone dashboard and it just really does give you this T-shaped design. But saying that, however, I feel like everything here is a bit 80s, 90s, you know, but I think Hyundai was going for something that will last. I think, yeah, I feel like even in 10 years time, this car will still be okay. It won't have those soft, soft, soft scratches here and there. Everything feels solid. Okay, but everything else is quite modern and current. So you've got a 10-inch digital instrument cluster. You've got an 8-inch infotainment screen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And you've got echo controls here with what I like is just knobbly knobs, 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 knobs knob here because you, know, you don't want to fiddle around when you're driving around. So you just can just go like that. So I think one of the highlights of the interior is of course the current Hyundai steering wheel with this trim accents here. Although, Whatever exterior color you choose, you will get black fabric seats. Saying that, they are comfortable and Hyundai have tried to make it swanky by giving it this design on the side bolsters and the side here. And yeah, they're okay. They're very comfortable. To me anyway, where the Hyundai Creator gets a lot of brownie points at the rear, it is quite spacious. There's a lot of headroom, there's a lot of knee room and the seats, they're very angled, leaning backwards and it's very, very nice. Also got some nice aircon vents here with the swanky design, a charging port here. And yeah, I can see myself traveling long distances and be comfortable back here. And I really like it. I really like it more than the front, unfortunately. Okay, so now we are on the move with the Hyundai Creta. And let me give you a first impression of what it is like. Okay, so underneath the hood is a 1.5 litre engine. It features 115 PS, 144 Newton meters of torque. Yes, that is not a lot, okay? But somehow in the city where you will be going at slow speeds, it's actually quite all right. Okay, so that engine is mated to a smart stream IVT CVT transmission. And yes, while it screams a lot, if you're trying to pick up a lot of speed fast like this, where it's not really doing much, it's not really going anywhere, not pushing you back in the seat. I think around the city, you know, where you're just mostly relaxing, just chilling, actually it's okay for me. There's like quite a good pickup, initial pickup, and yeah, it's quite relaxing. But like I said, not the fastest ship in the world. Now, even though I like how the engine performs, because yes, I mean, if you're a petrol head, you won't like it. But if you're a normal person, family guy, just a commuter, you will like it. I mean, the ride and suspension is a bit confusing. Let me tell you why it's a bit confusing. Okay, so this is an SUV. It's not meant to be sporty, but somehow the ride on the Creta is quite stiff. Even my cameraman at the back said, why is it so bouncy? Okay, so you'd expect it to be sporty, right? Check out that wallowing there, okay? It's not even planted. So I don't know, I'm a bit confused, but like I said, this is only a short test drive, so I can't gather that much 
information and give you a lot of feedback but from initial impressions I'm just a bit confused about its ride okay yes it's comfortable you know most of the time when there's no bad roads it's fine but when you come across like potholes and like all these like imperfections road you kind of feel it I don't know I don't know 17 inch wheels should be a better ride than this I don't know maybe this is a showroom spec car where they pumped up the tire pressure really high something but i'm not really understanding the ride in this car just yet but like i said first impressions if you're just relaxing it's fine the engine is fine smooth roads is very very nice but yes there is that just my initial first impression of what it's like okay so since i've come to the conclusion that this is going to be a chillax car I'm quite glad that this car comes with Hyundai Smart Sense full suits of driver assistance which means you've got lane keep assist which means it tries to keep you in the middle of the lane it's got blind spot monitoring and these are the things that I really appreciate now in the car I mean I didn't before but these things are quite essential and it just helps you to go do your daily things just to add I actually like the CVT okay yeah it's a bit noisy but it's got steps which means it's not going to drone like most CVTs so you've got like, you know, like it simulates like a normal automatic transmission. So here you go, look. Step. Step. So there you go. So you don't feel like it's a CVT. So yeah. nice one. Okay, so there you have it. Our little first impression of the Hyundai Creta. Now, why would you buy this over, let's say, a Honda HRV non-turbo or Corolla Cross G? Well, because maybe you just want to be different or maybe because those cars have a long waiting list. This is available right now. <laughs>